Now we will learn how to use Minitab to plot process capability. So let's start with an example. I have some data of a parameter. Let's say it could be something like a turnaround time and I have collected data as per the process that has to be followed. I have already collected sufficient samples of data and I have around 90 rows of data and the process has upper and lower spec. In process capability, as I mentioned earlier, it's very important for you to understand what is the customer need or customer requirement. USL here stands for upper specification limit, which is 45 and lower specification limit is 44.5. You could also have a scenario where you have only one side spec and you may not have the other side spec. In this case, for uh, academic purpose, I have made sure that we include both the upper spec and the lower spec. Now let's go and perform process capability study. Uh, again, I want to reiterate that you will have to follow the step by step process. And one of the prerequisites to perform process capability study is that the measurement system has to be correct. Process has to be stable, which means you have to run control charts, statistical process control charts, which are covered in this course in the last chapter. Um, after you do that and you find that the process is stable, then you go ahead and perform the process capability analysis and that is what we are going to do right now. So go to stats, go to quality tools and in quality tools, you go to capability analysis and in capability analysis, there are various capability analysis tests which can be performed. 